Hey everyone, today I'm bringing you another student success story. Today's is with a gentleman named Carlos, who is originally from El Salvador, lives in Toronto, Canada today with his wife and uh, two little girls like me. Uh, I, don't live in, I don't live in Toronto, uh, but I do have a wife and two little girls as well. So we have that in common. And now we have in common that we both know how to play piano. So I'm gonna share with you Carlos's story here in a little bit, just to give you a, a couple of highlights. It's something that, piano is something that he's wanted to learn how to play Play ever since he was 12 and he'll tell you the story about that um, but he never got the opportunity to until a couple of years ago when um, when he started his journey with piano in 21 days and he didn't know anything about the piano he, he couldn't have to told you where a C was where middle C was or anything like that but this is a story of, of I would say persistence and and passion I, I don't know that I've ever heard anybody talk about piano and their love for piano just like as passionately passionately as you're going to hear um, Carlos talk about it. So uh, we'll get into that here in a little bit. But real quick, if you're new here, I'm Jacques Hopkins and this is Piano in 21 Days where we help regular people learn to play their favorite songs on the piano in as little time as possible. So if that sounds good to you, please consider giving this video a like and go ahead and subscribe to the channel below. All right, so Carlos, persistence and passion. He's gonna speak very passionately about the piano. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with that word, but he's also going to talk about his persistence with learning. He didn't learn in 21 consecutive days. In fact, most of my students don't learn in 21 consecutive days. People are busy. They have, they have other lives besides just devoting all of their time to the piano. But I designed it to, I designed the program to where you could go through it at your pace as well. Now, I always tell my students that I want them to go through the program as quickly as that's as what's going to work for them because I find that the longer it takes for you to learn anything, the more likely you are to kind of fizzle out and quit. So Carlos did take his time, but he did finish the program and now he can play piano and he just absolutely loves it. He plays every day, he shares it with his family, with his kids. And um, I'm excited to bring to you this, uh, this conversation. I hope it uh, gives you some motivation as well. So with that said, here's the full conversation between myself and Carlos Perez. All right, what's going on, Carlos? Thanks so much for joining me on this. Hey, thank you for having me. Let's start here. Let's start with what was your motivation for wanting, wanting to learn how to play piano? Since I was a kid. Since I was 12 years old and I was at a church and then the first time that I pressed one key in a piano, that's the day that I wanted to learn to play it. But you have to understand that my parents never had like the money and the means to do things like that. So I, it was something that I postponed and I postponed and I postponed. Until about six, five, six years ago when I said, you know what, this is the time to do it. I'm going to go out, buy me a piano. I'm going to learn this. This is what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do it. So I did exactly that. Went out, bought a piano, ended up getting frustrated. You know what I mean? You know? Try a few tutorials in YouTube. And yeah, it's great because they teach you this and they teach you that. But you can't really apply what you learn from one song to the other. And that was my frustration. And I came to the point, Jocks, that I just said, you know what? I'm going to come back tomorrow. I never came back. Three years went by. How did I run into your video? So one day, watching one of those classical songs that I enjoy watching, I don't know if you had paid extra money for that video to be there, because you know how it is when you play, when you decide to look for a basketball game, you're going to see a list of just basketball games. If you decide to do how, how to bake a cake, you're going you're gonna to get just those videos. When I type classical songs, you know, your video, Piano in 21 Days was there, and I just completely ignored it. I went up and down the list. Your video was there. Why? To this day, I don't know. So, Carlos, so I, were, you just li were you just trying to listen to some classical music on YouTube, exactly. or you, were you looking for a uh, tutorial? Nothing. I wasn't looking for tutorials three years ago. I just wanted to play some songs, do my thing, whatever I wanted to do at the moment, and just listen to those songs in the background. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And as I was going down the list, up and down the list, Piano in 21 Days was showing, but I didn't, I didn't go for that. I didn't click for that. So I just keep going up and down the list, up and down the list. 
just to decide what song I'm going to play next. Finally, it just went up again and I clicked. That video just opened a series of videos. And I just started watching one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. And for the next two, three days, Jocks, I was just like, you know, I got a piano at home in my bedroom and it's just sitting there. Should I do this? And that was the biggest problem. And I think that this is one of the problems that a lot of people have. They, they just don't know how to start. They just don't know the step that they should take. So for the next two, three days, Jocks, I was just asking myself, should I try this? What if I'm not good? What if this problem is, is not for me? What if it's so many what ifs? I can try this. I can try that. What if this doesn't work? Finally, I went to your website and you have, you have a book that you can say, that I think you said you can download this and it's free. So I went mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I checked it out and I clicked on it and I downloaded it. And I was like, okay, but this piano in 21 days, is it? the basic and then i'm gonna get to video 21 and you're gonna tell me hey guess what you made it to piano in 21 days 20 uh day 21 i think you're ready for my next piano and it's called piano in 42 days you know what i mean like 21 plus 21 you know what i mean 42 yeah so i was asking myself and then what i get to that video and you're gonna tell me okay now you're ready for my advanced level and it's called piano in 84 days and i said but where is that and i couldn't find any of that so i said the only thing that I can find is the, the ultimate package, you know, uh, uh, the ear and train, uh, the ear and melody training and the hand coordination. So I said, you know what? Here goes everything. Here goes nothing. And I started to watch video after video. And it was just easy to understand. I think a lot of people have this misunderstanding that just because it's called Piano in 21 Days, that it's going to be very basic. Piano in 21 days may be basic because it's so easy to understand, easy to follow. 100% that's coming out of my heart. It's very easy to follow, very easy to understand. Sometimes when I was watching your videos, Jacques, I was like under this impression that maybe 20, 25 years ago, you would have wished that there was a yacht in your life who could have said, hey, you know what? This is the best approach to learning the piano. Yeah. You know, like I said in my, in, my, in my video, two years ago, I didn't want to know anything about the treble clef and, and the bass clef and circle of fifths. And I couldn't understand any of that. I didn't want any of that. The only thing that I wanted in my life was to be able to come to a piano, sit behind a piano and just say, I like to play that song. Maybe it's not going to be as good as somebody that plays you know, 20, 30 years. I says, I don't care. I just want to learn. And that's when I started to do piano in 21 days. And like I said to you, for the past two years, I haven't stopped. So if there's one thing that I want people to take away from my experience is this, do not give up. It's plain and simple. When, when I first started doing piano in 21 days, I, I was so excited and I actually told someone, hey, so I'm learning piano. And this person said, really? So you're going to a school? And I'm like, no, I bought a program. It's online. I can do it on my own. And this person said, why are you wasting your time, basically? I mean, you are going to learn from a program? And he started laughing. And he was, you will never learn piano. And all I said was, yes, I will, Satan. You know, yes, I will. <laughs> I took that negative energy, if you will. And I try to prove to them and to me, especially me, that this is something that I can do. I didn't have to go to a school and, you know, just learn how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. I went straight to chords, how to improvise, and start playing a few songs. I said in my piano, in my, my little testimonial to you the other day, I'm a beginner. I still consider myself a beginner, but at the same time, I'm amazing when I sit at the piano. So it almost sounds like a contradiction, you know, like I'm contradicting myself, but I'm not because 
yes, I may be a beginner because if I compare myself to some of that plays classical songs and they do all kinds of wonderful, beautiful things and sounds and this and that in a piano, maybe, yeah, just maybe I can't compare to that. But I'm amazing because this Carlos in 2021, if I could go back in time and say to that Carlos in 2019, hey, dude, take it easy, relax. There's one day you're going to do beautiful things in the piano. Just keep going. Every little speed bump that you're going to hit from now on, just keep going. Because one day you're going to be able to sit at a piano. Even if it doesn't sound good, I can sit at a piano for 15, 20 minutes nowadays. And it feels good. I don't feel intimidated anymore. What I didn't understand about your program back then, which is something that I probably learned six months after is you took so many things from here, from here, from here, and you simplified everything. All I had to memorize, and I had it on my wall, two, 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 one, you know, just in case I would ever wanted to go back to any of that. Or if I was looking for a major chord, you know what? This is the formula. Great. It works every time. I couldn't understand how numbers and letters Somehow they work in the piano, but they work. There's a formula for everything and everything just seems to work. The more that I practice all of that, the more that my brain started to make all the connections. It was easy, it was becoming easier as the, as the weeks went by, as the months went by. Did I finish piano in 21 days? In two years, no, I didn't. It probably took me about three, three and a half months. And that's the beauty of having a program like this because I can do things my own pace. I didn't have sometimes, you know, two hours to spend sitting at the piano. I understand what everybody's going through. Like I said in my video, the job gets in the way, family gets in the way, bills get in the way, everything gets in the way. Bad influence, like a friend telling you, you can't do it. All of those little things, they always get in the way. If there's something that people can take away from my experience, that is, do not give up. There are times that I come here and it's 10 p.m., 10.30 p.m. And then, you know, I have to get up early in the morning. But that 15 minutes, just trying to practice a scale, just trying to practice the intro to a song, you know, trying to do the melody of a song. That 15 minutes that you spend doing this and doing that, two weeks down the road, in the month, once you put everything together, everything is just easy. Maybe that person sitting at their home right now, maybe that person one day, five years from now, 10 years from now, maybe that person might be the person sitting behind a grand piano at a concert. And that person is going to say, I can't believe that just a few years ago, I was just at home watching TV. And look at me now. One of the things that I did enjoy watching your videos was that you never tried to hide a mistake. And that, like I said, I like the about, about you because you kept everything so real. If you watch any other videos like I have, sometimes you watch a video and it's perfect. And it's almost like it's making you believe that that guy is super amazing and it's super perfect. But we don't understand that maybe he spent three, four hours trying to record that one video. And then he went back, press play. He watched the video. He says, no, I'm not happy with that. Let me record the video again. That's something that I really appreciate about you and that I really enjoy about your videos because you never try to hide anything. You always said, I might not be the greatest piano player, but hopefully one day you can put all of this together. And that's what I'm saying. Maybe there's somebody sitting at home and maybe that person one day might become just that. If you follow everything, you're going to get to day 21, and then you can say, you're super amazing playing a song that probably, probably you never thought that it was possible. Nowadays, when I sit on a piano, Jock, I mean, I, I may still not be the greatest player. I may still make mistakes every now and then, but it feels good that the 15, 20 minutes that I spend sitting on a piano, I spend those minutes doing something that I enjoy doing. Well, Carlos, I mean, I, they, I mean, I first of all, really appreciate all the kind words. You know, you, you've been wanting to play since you were 12 years old. 
finally five or six years, you, you, you drew a line in the sand and said, okay, this is it. Like, it's my time to learn. I did. So the first thing you go do is you buy a piano. Is it, that's the piano that's right behind you right now? Okay, so g- give me a little more detail about, I mean, because you, you spent a lot of time talking about, hey, don't give up stay consistent, be persistent, don't give up. Right. Well, you, you, it sounds like you kind of failed the first time. By far. I mean, you you gave up, right? Why why is that? Why did I fail that for the first six months? Why'd you, why, why did it not work for you five or six years ago? Well, because when I first bought the piano, I never went to a school. I, I see the thing is I didn't, I didn't go to school first and then buy my piano. I was walking by a music store and I said, you know what? I think this is the time to buy a piano. I'm 36 years old. Maybe I should do it now. I bought the piano and all I knew was that there's an on and an off. And my next, and my next thing was, you know, I'm going to go on YouTube. I mean, th- this is the time of technology. YouTube so you, didn't is know teach any, you didn't know anything. You didn't nothing. know anything about playing a piano. Nothing. You didn't know where a C key was. Nothing. Absolutely and- nothing. And you don't play any other instruments either. Nothing. Never in my life. So just watching those first videos, because I never went into a a video that was going to teach me C, D, E, F, G, and your left hand is going to do this. I had no idea how the piano works. So all I did was I want to play this song, a specific song, and there's a guy teaching that song. So all I did was learn to, you know, I was writing a piece of paper and then practicing. And then I would spend the next month, month and a half, just practicing that song. And then I felt good. I learned something. I didn't learn anything. What was that song for you? What song? The ones that I was practicing? Yeah. Like what, when you first bought that piano, what, what's one of those first songs that you're like, I really want to learn that song. And that's, you looked up those tutorials. November rain. Okay. November Rain, the intro to November Rain. You know how he's sitting at the piano? Axel Rose, you know how he's sitting at the piano and he starts mm-hmm. playing the melody? It was a melody that I loved so much because it was coming from a piano and the concert and the electric guitars and everything. So the first thing that I did was watch a video of someone teaching me how to play the melody, the intro mm-hmm. to that song. So it felt good because I learned something. Pressing this key, pressing that key, but that didn't do anything. Because when I go to a next song, a different song, Brian Adams, what happens? It's a different tutorial, different keys, different speed. Everything is different. So nothing seemed to work. And all it was doing for me, it was just getting me frustrated. And the next video that I would do, it was just getting me more frustrated to the point that this instrument is not cheap. I, I think it's like $900 US. Okay. There was a point during those three years that I had put this away. I was just sick and tired of looking at this. That somebody said, I'll give you $80 and I'll take your problem away. And I said, no problem. Just take it. <laughs> That's how frustrated I was. That's how angry I was that I tried learning something that I wanted to learn for so long, but I couldn't do it. So for me, what failed for me was that I didn't have the right program. Nothing that I was able to find five, six years ago was structured in a way that it would teach me, that it would take me by the hand. Every video that I found, six, maybe nowadays there's more videos available. But six years ago, when I was looking for a video, I just couldn't find. I didn't know where to find. I didn't know what I had to look for. That, that's probably... The better way of putting this, I didn't know where to go or how to find the information that I needed in order for me to learn the piano. Well, playing piano, I mean, to me, playing piano is playing songs. It's playing songs on the piano. It's not drilling scales. It's not drilling anything. It's not just practicing random things. It's playing songs. So you, what you did was you bought a piano and then you said, okay, I want to play November Rain. So you probably went to YouTube and said, how to play November Rain on the piano, clicked on the first video. And what you learned was, what to play and when to play it. You, you memorize the sequence of patterns and you probably got to some level of success with that song, but it sounds like the frustration came when you couldn't apply a single thing from that song to the next song. To the next song. And you had zero foundation. Nothing. Because like I said, I, I, I didn't know where to start. Y'all. I didn't know that you have to learn chords. You know, your C and then your D major and your G. I didn't know any of that. 
my understanding about playing the piano at that moment was I watched somebody play. He's telling me what to press. And now I can go in the world and have my own concert. But that's not the way that it works. So when I started watching your videos and you took me by the hand and you start with something so simple like the white keys and then the black keys. And then you go into, you know, later on in the videos, we're going to learn about the sus chords and a C7 and a C major 7. I mean, everything just, everything just seemed easy, easy to follow because the way that you have structured your program is really well put together. You're not jumping from one lesson and now next day, okay, we're going to do scales and, you know, we're going to do this. So nobody, there's no reason for someone to get confused. For me, it was about three and a half months, a good three and a half months that it took me to finish. And then I wanted to do the hand coordination because even though I had finished your piano in 21 days, I mean, these two hands, they still didn't talk to each other. You know the way it works. It's hard trying to go this way and then this one's going to go that way. Or well, this is going to go at a different speed and this is going to go at a slow speed. So the, that course took me, again, another three and a half months, four months. And again, I didn't want to rush into trying to learn. No, I really took my time. Because if you rush, you're not going to learn anything. Patience is probably the key to everything. The ear and melody training. I mean, sometimes I, I might I might be low, I might be going for a C and I hit a D without looking. Sometimes I'm not even looking at the piano. And I might hit the wrong key. My ear is now telling me that didn't sound right. Why? Because your program trained me, trained my brain, my hands, you know, just to think and just to understand the piano in a way that six years ago. 30 years ago, I would have never been able to understand. Carlos, I mean, one one criticism I get from people on the outside looking in is like, Jacques, I mean, how could you be scamming people into thinking you could learn piano in 21 days, right? Piano is something that takes years, if not a lifetime to learn how to play. And to that, I would start by saying, hey, well, it depends on what your definition of, of knowing how to play piano is. Um, it, it's to me, it's not being an expert. It's not being an aficionado. It's being competent and really enjoying it and being able to play songs on the piano. That's, that's what being able to play is, right? I agree. You, at what point did you feel like, hey, I know how to play? Was it when you finished the course? Was it after those three and a half months? Was it somewhere else? At three and a half months, I was able to understand chords. I was able to understand every song. Did I make that song sound as good as I wanted to? No. Because it's my version of the song. It's not the way that the real artist is going to play the song. My song, my way. So yes, after three months, I was playing songs my way. How did I become a little bit better? Well, because like I said, you have the hand coordination, which trains you really well. The ear and melody training, it trains you. It's a package that has been well put together. When did I feel that I was really good? After one year. Simple as that. So after that one year, I went back and I did everything again. You know how easy it was? You know how fulfilling that was for me is the satisfaction that I had? Because I had learned something. So yeah, maybe like you're saying, there's a lot of people that may criticize the program. And like they told you, maybe, you know, it's a scam. But it's not a scam. What I want people to understand is that your program is basic. Basic for somebody who is 65 years old or somebody who's 15 years old. Regardless of where you are in your age, you will learn because the program is very basic. It's easy to understand. And that's the reason why it's basic. But there's absolutely nothing basic about it. Because they will learn everything that you teach about it inversions, scales, the key of the song, the theory behind everything. There's nothing, absolutely nothing basic about your program. It's super easy. And once again, there's no scam, none whatsoever. The only difference is you're not trying to teach the traditional way, the way that somebody will teach in, in a school or maybe some other programs that are available right now. 
You're trying to teach the average, the average person like me. I didn't have time. I don't have time to come and sit at a piano and, and say, you know what? I'm going to play you songs from beginning to end. No, I just wanted to come and see November Rain, CFG, and just play in my way. All I've done in the last past year is trying to perfect my skills, trying to learn something new. Four months ago, five months ago, I decided to start learning more about the treble clef and the bass clef and how these things connect. I didn't want to know anything about this two years ago. I would have been lost. I would have hated the piano. I would have taken a chainsaw and just cut $900 into pieces because I would have said to myself, you know what? I'm not going to try to sell this or try to put it outside for someone just to pick it up for free and their lives are going to be ruined. <laughs> I don't want that. I want to save those people the travel. You know what I'm saying? I just went through that. I'm trying to save the travel. Don't, don't do it. But I found your program. Yes, I had my doubts, but I gave it a try. I said to myself, I have nothing to lose and I have everything to gain. Simple as that. So for someone that says, you know, there's a scam, read the website, watch your videos, watch testimonials of other people that have taken the program before me. I mean, there's a reason why Piano in 21 Days is very successful. When did you start Piano in 21 Days? Eight years ago. Eight years ago. So that makes it, what, 2013, more or less. Okay, so maybe in 2023, you know what? Maybe we, you can have a little high school reunion, if you will, like this. And all the other students, every single person around the world that has ever taken this course, maybe we can just see a little bit, a little square. And all of those guys are going to be able to say, you know what? This is my story. I went from knowing absolutely nothing, like in my case, to learning a song, to feeling good about it. You know what? The biggest criticism that I get is from my own daughter. When I make a mistake, my daughter yells from the other room, you made a mistake. That's good. I go back and I practice again. You understand? I go back and I practice again. As of late, my wife has told me, you know, wow, you know, you have really learned. You have, you have come a long way. And I've said to her, nah, you know, I'm still a beginner. I mean, comparing this to someone that plays the piano, classical songs, and somebody who's in YouTube and playing all these beautiful songs, I'm still a beginner, Jack. But this 2021 Carlos, compared to that 2019 Carlos, this guy is amazing. And would I be here today speaking with you? The answer is no. If I never, two years later, I don't regret it. It was probably the best decision that I made at the time. Something that today makes me happy. There's going to be people after me. I mean, taking the piano in 21 days, 6.0, these people are going to do wonderful things. Because you took your program and you perfected the wheel, if I, if I may say that. Now that wheel that you made once upon a time, it's really smooth. It goes into depth. You explain everything in such a way that the four core song, I mean, something so simple. You know how many times I played that song in C, G, A minor? And I said to myself, it doesn't work. You're wrong. How many times, you, you know, I talk to you, you're wrong. It doesn't work. I just never understood that it's in a different key. I mean, once I understood that it's in the key of E, oh my God, I was like, are you kidding me? And I have killed myself for months trying to play songs and they don't make sense. I mean, that's why I said the people that are students, you know, whoever is taking your videos right now, your program right now, they're going to do wonderful things in a few months from now. It might take three months. It might take six months to finish the program. It might even take one year. But it's not important how fast you get to that goal. It's not important how fast you're going to get to that mountain. The important thing is that one day you're going to be able to get to that mountain. And you know what? This is the flag. This is your flag. 
this little diploma. Yeah, it may be just a piece of paper, but I sit at this piano and I see my name and it says, I successfully completed your program. Was it easy? The answer is no. Was I frustrated? Yes, I was. Was there a lot of work? Yes, it was. But you found a way to make learning the piano easy. I mean, I don't have a spectacular story to tell anybody, except that I didn't give up. I tried. I mean, I put my trust in this program. And I don't regret it. Like I said, maybe 25 years ago, you would have wished that because you talk about taking classes for what, 10 years, you know, classical yep. songs, the old traditional way. Or maybe, maybe 25 years ago, you would have wished that there was somebody like you who would have taught you how to play the piano the easy way. You know, you wouldn't be saying I spent 10 years just playing, you know, playing classical songs and I learned one song, two songs. You could have said, I spent one year doing this program and look at me now. Maybe there were doubts in your head thinking, is this going to work? Are people going to buy this? Are people going to love this? But you know what, John? Everything that you did, everything that you put together back in those days has made a change in my life and in a lot of people's lives. A lot of people consider a piano nowadays because they took something basic and they learn. And now they're probably doing things that they never dreamed that they would be able to do. But there was a foundation. Your program was so basic, but it was the foundation to this, everything else. My daughter, she's learning to play with me. Why? Because she hears when I'm playing this song and that song. She comes over and she says, teach me that. I want to learn that. You know how good that feels? That my daughter likes to learn? I mean, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. So for anybody that has ever criticized the approach or the program, I mean, everyone has their own opinions. And sometimes you can't really change people's opinions. The only one that can change people's opinions are people like me that have taken your program and we, we can say it wasn't easy, but here we are nowadays. This is a wonderful instrument, but it's not the instrument that makes the difference. It's you, it's me, it's us. Once we learn what to do and how to do it, we are the ones that can make a piano sound beautiful. And Piano 21 Days is exactly that, the foundation to a lot of things. I mean, I don't have a spectacular story to tell, but I have learned. And I'm impressed by what I've done. My daughter here, baby, she wants to say hi to you. Hi. Say hi, baby. Hi. You know, even she, she comes with me. My daughter says, I want to learn. Can you teach me that? I'm in the other bedroom with my wife. We hear the piano. And I said, that's amazing. I mean, she's been doing that for a week. How can she remember the melody? I spent three months learning that melody. So it's a satisfying thing in my life. Do I regret it? Never. Never. I mean, the way you put the program, the way you structure the program, it was easy to follow. And it doesn't matter if this person is 65 years old right now or 90 years old. 40 years old. Anybody can learn with your program because it's basic. Basic meaning it's easy. It's not just, you know what, you're going to learn a few, a few keys and buy my next program if you want to be good. No. This program takes you by the hand and it teaches you. What else can I say but try? Give Piano in 21 Days a try. Especially the new course. The backing trucks. I don't want to give those away because that's part of the new program. Yeah. But everything that you have in those videos, all the information that you have in those videos, it will make you understand piano in such a way that you didn't think it was possible. And that's all because one day you were sitting at your dinner table 
and you designed everything and you put this together. This wonderful program that you put together has made a lot, has made a lot of people happy. A lot of changes in a lot of people, including me. That's the greatest satisfaction besides my daughter and my other baby. Learning the piano is a satisfaction in my life. Something that I never thought was possible because I was born with two left hands. Okay, <laughs> You know, it's like my hands, they just don't connect. But all I had to do was, oh, if you flip that hand over, it'll work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's basically what I needed. Something so simple that somebody like you said in those videos made learning an instrument like this extremely easy. So to that, all I have to say is thank you. Because, I mean, I wouldn't be able to talk to you and tell you I'm satisfied. I'm happy. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's just a great feeling. And all this because you put this together. I gave it a try. I don't regret it. Well, Carlos, th thank you. Th no. Thank you. I mean, you've said some, you said some very generous things here. And look, the, the, the top way that I can go about marketing Piano in 21 Days is by just sharing stories like yourself, right? There's 100%. no better way to do that. And so I love to just jump on and have conversations like this and with your permission, record it and hopefully share, share it out there. But you've, I mean, today you've made my job very, very easy because oh. I just set you up with some basic questions and you just rolled with it. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate all the kind words and the, the, the passion that you speak about this and the amount that you've clearly gotten out of it just means the world to me to be able to see, you know, we don't live in the same country, right? You were, we're not geographically close at all. And yet you stumbled across this upon this two years ago after having given up something you've wanted to learn your entire life. And it wasn't just my program, right? It's not a magic pill. No, it's just that you finally came across a program that works to some extent, 100%. and you stuck with it, right? That's one of your pieces of advice is, hey, you got to be consistent, don't give up. And you and you did, that's exactly what you did. And that's how you found a level of success. And now, I mean, you speak so highly of what you've been able to do, sharing with your, your family. What's your daughter's name, by the way? Jasmine. Hey, Jasmine. Hi. Hi. Thank you for teaching Hi. us piano. Thank you for teaching my daddy piano. Do, do you like hearing your daddy play piano? Yeah. How old are you? How old are you? Seven huh? and a half. Seven and a half. My goodness. My daughter's about to turn, well, my oldest daughter's about to turn six. So you're older than she is. I'm trying wow. to teach her a little bit too. You know, it's a, it's a wonderful feeling. There's no, there's no reason to give up. There's a lot of negativity in the world. This, this instrument, I mean... It's wonderful. And if you have a program like the one that you have, that's super, super easy to follow, you will learn. I'm living proof, like I said. Yeah. I'm living proof. I mean, you know how wonderful it would be? I mean, I'm just telling you, I'm just saying, you know how wonderful it is that there, there's somebody on the other side of the world that has learned piano and they have a story to tell? Maybe they hit the same same speed bumps that I hit once upon a time, but they kept going. And they kept going. Five years later, I mean, they're super amazing. All I said to myself is, if in one year I learned to do everything that I learned to do, and I stopped watching your videos and I just went to do my own thing. Two years later, I'm able to do a little bit of a classical song here and there. What am I going to be able to do in five years? If I stick with it, I did for the last two years. And now that I learned that skill, I don't, I don't see the reason why I'm going to stop now. Every day, you know, 15, 20 minutes every day is going to build into something beautiful one day. So, piano 21 days, it's pretty amazing. That's all I have to say. Thanks. Thanks, Carlos. That's all Thank I have you. to say. You're pretty amazing yourself, man. Th keep Thank up you. your good work. Keep up the good work. Thanks so much. Let's stay in touch, all right? 100%. 100%. I love your Q&As every now and then. You know, I'm always there, you know, and I try to hear what other people are saying. So it's a wonderful platform. Every video is really well put together. 
the information it's really good and you know what there will be a lot of satisfied people in a few months from now in a few years i mean the sky's the limit how many more people are going to call you with videos or send you videos or email emails and they're going to tell you thank you i mean look where i am nowadays and that's a great satisfaction for you it's a great satisfaction for us too so i think i think that's all i have to say i hope that i mean i hope i'll talk to you another time yeah for sure let's let's stay in touch and keep right. up the good work and and I think you're going to continue learning new things and just get better and better. Like I, you know, I'm learning new things still yeah. uh, every day as well. So. All right, then. Thanks, thanks, Carlos. Thanks, Jasmine. Thank you. Bye, you guys. Have a nice day. Man. All right. Well, I warned you. I told you he was going to talk very passionately about the piano, and I just can't thank him enough for the, for the kind words and everything and for taking the time to um, to have that conversation with me. So. If you like what you heard, if you want to learn more about the piano, if you want to get started for free with Piano in 21 Days, I've got the perfect way for you to do, do that. I've got a free workbook, Learn 36 Popular Songs in 5 Days. You can click the link on this page to go ahead and get that completely for free. So go ahead and do that, and I look forward to being your piano teacher.